Jesus, 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 Daniel, Jesus, 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 Yefrado, G. Obre Bonya, me, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Jesus, Yefrado, G. Oh, who now will bring your good bonnet? Yes, we. Yes, we. Yes, we. His name is you. What do you ask for? Yes, 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 I call yes, me wo Jesus, o ti mi mo, o ti mi mo, o ti mi mo, da da. Me wo Jesus, o ti mi mo, eh, o ti ma kome mo da. Me si me. Jesus, what's in me more? Yeri de keri e mandende daira. What's in me more? Candida dende di makenda. What's in me more? Da da. Me wa Jesus, what's in me more? What's in me more? Me dey me wah Jesus, ati me mu, I no pay. Ati me mu, ah, ati ma kume mu. Me wah Jesus, ati me mu, yeah 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 yeah, ati ma kume mu da. Ateba kume muda ye Jesus Jesus oh Jesus His name is G oh Jesus. Jesus, oh, Jesus, his name is Jesus. Thank you this morning. Bless you for the gift of life. Bless you for the opportunity into the seventh mountain. Glory unto you for keeping us and sustaining us and making it possible for us to see the seventh mountain. With a plan of our life, our financial arrangement, with what we had from the beginning of the year, with what we were told by the economists, with what we saw happening in our world, for us to be in the seventh month, we say, Jesus, 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 
This morning I bring to you the wisdom, the power, and the understanding of this man I call my God. I don't know how you call him. He is what he is to us. He has made it possible for us to cross over and enter into the seventh month. But we started the month of July, which is the month seventh. And seven is a form of completion. You just ended your year. You have just brought your year to an end. Whatever the enemy orchestrated, that you will not be able to find yourself in the seventh month. My sister, my brother, you are in the seventh month. Whatever your village demons decided to let happen, and whatever they planned and orchestrated, you are in the seventh month. This month, the Lord told me, and it is strange because, the Lord gives me the thing for the month earlier. I have walked, I have prayed, I have moved everything. It was only yesterday at dawn when I have just finished moving out to church. Then on my way, he just spoke to me and said, Son, tell your people this month of this particular July we are in. In this seventh month is my month to sustain them with divine sustenance. The Lord said it is your month of sustenance. It is my month of divine sustenance. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know who understands what the Lord just told me. So I say, Lord, this is what I've been waiting for. You just give me what month we should find ourselves. It is my month of divine sustenance. There is something about God that when he gives a team, he walks with it. He still told me and said, son, yesterday, he said, listen to me. I want to remind you that I don't take it for granted that the month of June and July is not still a good month. There is dark clouds over the earth. There is a cloud that is so heavy, not because of rain, but for demonic orchestration. I am holding it up there. Look, your finishing of your education, the completion of your school, the completion of your house, the pain of your debt, it's not because you have money to do it, but because the Lord has a plan. He has a will. He has a plan for you. And he said, in this seventh month, you have to know that he is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the beginning and the end, Lord. For my Bible says the end of a matter is more important than the beginning. There is something you want to understand about God. You don't know why things are going the way they are going. But this morning, as you share to invite a friend for prayer, we have an hour of prayer time. We have an hour of praying into our new month, into our new day, and into our new week. There is something about praying into the week. It is something you did designed for the week to pick up. You have the right to demand what the week should do for you. The Lord has given you power. The Lord has given you direction. The Lord has given you that liberty to determine the way the day should go. This morning, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are standing. I don't know where you are sitting. I don't know which plan you are living with. As you walk and you change the path. I, I want you to change your DP. Let your DP make it the month you are in. Yes, it arrived just at the time and you were fortunate when the lord gave me and it appeared i gave it back to you and i expect you to keep it as your banner the reason why i insist people will constantly change their their banner and their dp they don't understand somebody will go and see what is this person talking about he is able to sustain me during this time no matter what price hike will happen to me the sustenance of god is what i am looking out to he is able to sustain me. 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 Because I have Jesus in my boat. I have Jesus in my boat. Share the page and invite a friend. Tell the friend we are here to do our, our prayer into the new day. 
tell a friend we are here to command our week and tell the week what it should do for us. You have kept a lot of DPs on your place. I am telling you that in this month of July, use the new flyer, my month of divine sustenance. He will keep you through. 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 He has a reason and a purpose to keep you from this long time to now. He is ready to do it for you. He has made provision for you. Somebody hear my testimony. The Lord has come in the seventh month that because of what you have done, because of what you have kept your faith for, he will pull you through. The things will happen and you'll be shocked, but he will pull you through. Kalia Kande Sanda Kepato. Pick up your oil wherever you are. The Lord still tells us that we are still doing the bottle of water. Pick up your bottle of water this morning. And those of you who keep forgetting, I told you something that you don't know how to do it. Hear instructions and follow it so you don't make a mistake. This time the Lord told me, tell my children that the water they carry, they should carry the water, drink on the water, speak into the water and continue to bath this water. Again, let them keep the rest and pour it away. So drink part of the water. Let's keep it at the prayer angle. So if you don't come and pray with us and you want to use the water, then you need to go and play the whole video again on YouTube and then whilst we follow what we do, pray the prayers over the water. Today we are going to declare things over the water. Water is life. Ah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Your body contains 75% of water. People can bring their trouble to you. But the Lord says, every trouble that is orchestrated, I am going to push it out of your way. Your family, look, listen to me. There are times that you will keep yourself out of trouble. Yesterday, I have a confirmation of a prophecy that happened to me. <laughs> I will prophesy to me too. Yes. We need somebody to be looking over our shoulders and thanks to Reverend uh, uh, Prophet Dr. Emmanuel AJ. I mean, I have a lot of prophets, two prophets over my life. The prophecies will come. You are fortunate every time I come, the Lord gives me a word for He gave me a word for myself. He said, there is somebody who has just been sent trying to destroy you. And if they don't get you through the original means, they will use their own original means for some time now. I was just there and I saw that I took water. I remember I didn't take anything. I get hard bends when I take things that has content with pineapple or orange. But I took my water and I had constant hard bends which was not going. Regularly, there are things I do for it to go when I know I've done the wrong thing. But it didn't go. But I saw that it was my water in my bottle and regularly i have people pour water when they bring the water to the set i say oh, can you pour it in my bottle for me especially when my pa is not around when she's not around it's very difficult for me to just tell anybody in the studio to do because it's difficult so immediately i saw that i wouldn't get assistance i stopped using the bottle yesterday i went to church while the prophecy was going on, they say, I see a bottle. I see your water. <laughs> they say, I see a water. I see your water in a water bottle. Poison to destroy everything in your stomach. I say, Jesus is Lord. If you say, God, no day, then it is you who no day. They can try. As for trying, it is permitted. But succeeding and the trying is the problem. I pray to God that those I hold in high esteem, those I bring close to myself, those I am here to help, those I have opened my flat gates so they will also become somebody would not allow themselves to be used. Because whoever it is, I have decided long time not to allow you to live. But I pray it will not be you. Because if you know it will be you close to me, then I will kill you because I won't let you survive. I have not completed my assignment. 
So why will you allow yourself to be used? That is, that nobody can get close to him except you. Yesterday, the Lord showed me a new thing about the water. So I'm giving a standing order somewhere because I saw the change. I, let me tell you, I saw the change. Somebody came to my office and asked for water. And when the lady gave the water to her, the person said, I don't like it. I don't like the shachet water. Don't you go have bottle water? Or if you have bottle, just bring me a bottle and let me pour it inside. Then my lady went in and the sachet water the guy took, he took it back from, from him or the person. It's better we reframe our statement. The person gave back the water to the person who brought the water to the person. And because it's a normal thing, you give people water and they return it. The person took the water back to my office and kept it. Immediately, the person dropped the water. She dropped the water on the whole bag. She didn't even put it inside. She dropped it on the bag of such water in my office. Then the whole water was contaminated and gave the person a bottle of water. Just tonight, I saw it. So I want to do something on my water. That you can ask for water from my office. Because water is life, I'll give you. But if you make a mistake, I'll kill you with the water I give you. You see? Let's live a life that will not die and leave only our blood on earth. Abel died with nothing except his blood on earth. Don't allow any foolish person to kill you. Don't take it for granted that somebody will use your child to cause you to drain your finances. Somebody will use your house help to cause you to lose property. Somebody will use your friend to cause you to be duped. Somebody will cause you to be duped because they have connected you to a wrong person. I'm telling you that somebody can use you, your own self, to disgrace you. They don't spend much. They don't spend much. They look for where the hole has been created. And the hole was not created for them. But the hole was created for a sensible purpose. But all of a sudden, they are taking advantage of the hole that has been created. Be careful you don't become the conduit to be used for somebody's distraction. Because you don't know what is carrying somebody. You don't know what is following somebody. You don't know what somebody can do against you. I told you people the last time here that I don't I don't carry normal money. And I'm not I am not I am not shy to say it. I carry altar money. So when I give people money and they take with their left hand, I get offended. I carry altar money. My money is an altar. Yes, it is. It is. So you have to be careful. When I, so I mean, if I give you money and you take it anywhere, you will die. I'm telling you, yes. I, I, I don't. Yes. I wanted to do something for somebody. So I wanted to give the person physical cash because of what I want to do for the person. But the person constantly or unfortunately my busy schedule have never been able to meet me to take that money because I'm supposed to do something for the person. But the person also needs the money. So I send the money through mobile money. Yesterday at dawn, the Lord asked me, is that what I told you? Yes, but I've sent the money already. I felt bad. Listen, they are wicked people. One time I, I got a made a statement. And people laugh at it. He says, the boys around you who are helping you, <laughs> make sure you don't drink bottled water because it will poison you. Drink, don't drink plastic bottle. Drink the glass. So they could, anything they want to put inside, they should put in the glass. And we laugh over it. 
A man's enemy is but from his own family. Be careful you are not used around any man of God, around any altar, around any shrine, around anybody who has one day given you something before. Be careful you are not used. Because some of us will not let it go. We will not allow it to go. No way. We will kill till the last person is no more alive. Yes. Yesterday, the prophecy was that they want to eliminate you, take you out of your family. I might die a natural death, but untimely death over me, my dead body. I will replace you. Oh, yes, I will. So we give direction here. If you don't remember the direction, don't do it. And I feel people are not serious. So I've told myself, I have stopped reminding people, have you done the direction? I care too much. Because if you respect the unction and the oil on me, regardless of who you think you are, you are not too important than the devil who wants to destroy you. I go and they tell me what to do. When I ask you to do it then, listening to simple instruction, pick up your bottle of water. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, I speak over this water that as I enter into this week by your divine direction, may I drink it with the intention of you sustaining my intestines, my veins, my large, my small, intestines in my body, my arteries, my liver, my kidney, my heart. As I drink this water, let the organs in my body function well. Function well. Let there be divine clearance that I will be sustained under this grace. As this water enters my body, I ask for power I ask for power in Jesus' name. What I saw was a three times drinking of this water. Three times sipping. So if you are not doing it with me, let's all go together. Cover it. Then you will take your bath with it. On your day of birth, in the morning, you add it to your water to bath. This one, you are not pouring it on your head from your bottle. I saw it being poured in something. Leave the rest and go and throw it away and say, I am sustained through the month. Throw it. Just pour it. Remember, keep the cover. Take a picture of the cover. Of your water dispose of the bottle take a picture of the cover send it to me right now the water entered into somebody and something is happening to you come on open your mouth and thank God for the water I I, I, I am feeling some fresh thing as I drank the water I pick pick up your oil as what you feel anoint yourself with what you are feeling right now your stomach is, is turning. You don't know. You have been gassy for some time. Something was, you have done whatever it is and it's not going. But the Lord just told me that as you sip the water, he's realigning your intestines. He's realigning your body. He's realigning and changing circumstances and situations in your life. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. As you sip the water, there is a change that is happening. It is feeling hot. As if something is burning you. As if you just drank hot water. I feel the presence of God in what we just sipped. I declare that whoever the Lord has visited by sipping of this water three times, you are secured. Whatever it is that is going on in your body, your diabetes that has come, this one, it has been diluted and changed. Whatever they said your intestines is, your womb is open for that particular delivery, that particular
muscular fiber that has been told to come back again. The Lord says he just entered and rearranged your system. There is clarity that I saw happening. Take it this morning. Take it this morning. Take it. Take it. It's yours. Take it this morning. Take it this morning. Take it this morning. Take it this morning. That blood flow that comes and every time you become anemic. The Lord said when you drank the water, he has changed that blood flow. Your system is correct now. I saw it. I saw it. There's somebody you are holding your stomach. It's rather as if when you drank the water, you are rather having some some discomfort in your tummy. Watch it. It is a discomfort of reparation. The Lord is repairing you. You are you are just you, you are I, I see somebody who is wearing you are you, you are wearing a trouser, but it is not like you are going out. It's a house trouser. I will call it pajamas, but it's this is not I can't see it's not a man, it's a woman, but you are you are just you, your Facebook is lying on, on a table and you are holding whether it is I don't know, it's a work top. It, I, I don't know whether it's a kitchen, but I see a worktop like the way we designed the thing. And you are holding and you are doing left and right. I declare that this correction the Lord is doing, that Lord, sit down because you will fall off. And I don't want you to hurt yourself. Power into your body. Correction now. Correction now. Correction now. Correction now. Correction now. I see somebody who you have a child and after delivering the child, the condition they gave you has put fear in you so you don't want to get pregnant again. The law says by the sipping of this water, there is correction coming. There is correction coming. That was not the truth that you were told. Somebody was changed to tell you what they told you after delivery and you have kept that negative news. The law says I should tell you that he is changing it by the water you sip. I declare it so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 I see somebody, your palm is itching you after drinking the water. You are feeling itches in your palm. Your palm is itching you. Like the way we have, our palm will itch us and they will tell us that you are going to get money. I, after drinking the water, you are feeling the itches and you are using one hand to do this. The Lord says, I should tell you, whatever they came for from you that you didn't know, he's restoring, he's restoring, he's restoring, he's restoring, he's restoring. He's restoring story his story his story I, I see somebody sitting down and they are using a big nail to 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 sew a hair on you the law says the group of people that did the hair for you and whilst they were sewing it into your natural hair they were taking away your glory but as you sip the water the law says he's bringing it back he's bringing it back into your system and bringing shame and ridicule to the people if you went to a saloon this week to go and they use a needle to sew so the Lord has a message for you that I can't share here. But I pray to God that as you sip the water he has opened up for us, we will see the answer to it. The Lord says I should tell somebody that this week, this coming week, I am seeing Thursday, 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 Thursday morning you wake up, your child you are preparing to take to school became a burden for you. The child became so hot that the temperature of the child was unbearable. And anybody you knew you want to call was not going there. The Lord says, I should tell you, it is an attack on you. So remember that your child will also have the water on the day that he's supposed to bath. Because you need to cool the temperature of your child. Something was given to your child on Wednesday when the child went to school. Somebody gave your child eraser, eraser, eraser. I see eraser. I see, I see eraser. I see eraser. It is not white. It is not white. But there are pens that, you know, they use pen to mark the eraser. And the eraser the child took. Your child took the eraser and because it's smelling well, it put it in the mouth. It was an altar that was sent to come and destroy your home financially and take away your joy. The Lord says Thursday it will happen, but stop it now. Stop it now. And that is an advice to tell your children that it's not everything they take. Can you let them know this one? Because we are taking care of the spiritual, the physical must be taken care of. I don't want this area this morning. I came to pray. Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless you thank you for that open eyes thank you for that open eyes. i see i see i see i see somebody going to lose their father-in-law you live in the same house with your father-in-law unfortunately your father-in-law is stronger than your mother-in-law and everybody is thinking that if there's anything that will happen it will be your mother-in-law but your father-in-law woke up in the morning 
And for the first time, he greeted all of you with joy. He even did a morning devotion and prayed. And exactly at 10.30, you heard the news that your father-in-law is dead. Not was rash. He died at home. I pray to God that whoever's father-in-law is going to have an encounter and was going to have, and it is coming from their family house. Unfortunately, something happened and he went to support somebody in the family house. He didn't protect what he released in the family house. And that is what it is. I see somebody who is gathering your old clothing and, and, and your old clothing, you say they are tight and you want to give. The Lord says, I should tell you, don't go and give it up. Burn them. Set fire in them and burn them. Don't release it because some agent has been sent to release something that you have. Don't give it up. Burn them. Burn them. I see burn them. Burn them. Father, we thank you for your direction this morning. We, we came to pray. I don't know what is happening. We came to pray. And when it opens like this, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Father, we came to pray. Give us the utterance of prayer. Pick up your oil. Anoint yourself three times. Anoint yourself three times. Anoint yourself three times. And say, I have entered. 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 I have started. Say, I have started. Say, I have started. And I will finish. And I will finish. And I will finish. Use the same oil. Anoint your left hand. And anoint your, your left palm. Anoint both palms. The middle of your palm. In the name of Jesus. This morning. God bless you wherever you are this morning. Too many things are going to happen. I see somebody you 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 it's, it's four and there are four people. I see four people, four people. You know workstation. We call it workstation. Yes, actually, you you don't you don't you don't own the workstation. You don't own it. Like it's it's, it's not your seat in the workstation. But you you went there to to see somebody in the workstation. The work the workstation is 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 black. Is black in your office. There's a workstation. One in another office is blue. But where you enter, the workstation is black. I see a black workstation, and the, there is a chair, and the chair has red in it. That chair, when you enter, it was somebody's chair. You were talking to another lady, and she just said transfer. And immediately you sat down. You don't know what happened. You felt a pain in your right thigh. The, somebody has done something and mistakenly it has attracted you negatively let, let me tell you you to do something on your chair i mean do something on your chair it's 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 something it's something it's something i i i don't know but father this morning we bless you for what you just did by the sipping of the water you open our eyes i pray that most of you I, I, you are watching me somebody you had a dream and the dream you had was that you your children are, are don't use diapers but you saw that you were cleaning, you were you were cleaning a child and you are removing diaper. You know the way we clean the, the child with toilet and removing diaper. The law says that you tell you it is not your child that you are removing diaper. The law says that you tell you your your husband is going to be bed ready and you will be changing diapers for your husband. Reverse it now, reverse it now, reverse it now, you reverse it. Your husband, I I, I your husband is not. It's not sick. There's nothing showing that the guy is sick. But the guy will be broken down. He's a young guy. He's not an old person. He's a young guy. It's a it's it's a young guy. It's a young guy. It's a young guy. I see thirty nine dash forty two. I don't. It's not a normal play. But I see thirty nine dash forty two. When I say he's a young man, then I saw thirty nine dash forty two. I pray to God. That whatever it is, this one that the Lord has imparted, I mean, He's imparted something. Thanks be to to the, to, to 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 Papa for the impartation. It just opened. I don't know. It just is opening. I came to pray. I came to pray. But be 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 careful. I mean, your husband and he's 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 just sick. He's just he's just sick. He's just sick. Yes, 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 yes. It's clear now. Your husband took a medicine from a friend, and the friend gave your husband medicine because he has potential issues. And that medicine he took is what rather caused him to become bedridden. 
And now what you are doing is changing diapers for him. I pray to God that whatever it is, it's difficult to have a chat with your husband about some medication. But as a woman, anything your husband is taking and is bringing home, come on, somebody, it's right. There's nothing wrong in going for it. But it has been contaminated because somebody has been sent as an agent to destroy his life because he took somebody's job and he did it. Your husband is not somebody who... He works on, 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 on things. He, he works with his hand. He, he works in a civil environment. And somebody did a job that the person didn't do it well. And so your husband went to complete it and he paid. Tell your husband, I am telling you that you are here. Tell your, your husband, if he has not told you, ask your husband. If he does a civil work, he does things with his hand. Somebody did a job somewhere and he, he, he the person didn't do it well. So they didn't finish paying the person because the job was not completed. And somebody recommended he went and he touched the job just like that. He just went to do the job for them and they are happy about what he's doing. And the happiness of the people is making them speak against the person and the person say he will not forgive you he tried an accident it didn't work he tried an accident it didn't work now he's trying to use an agent to give you medicine because you have sexual issues you think you have to work on it as a man and that is what you took and you became bedridden it is not the medicine it is an agent that has been sent to come and disgrace you and and when you are bedridden your, your life will you go back again to the site to go don't joke with these things because it, it, that's your work that's your work father we bless and we thank you we bless and we thank you yeah you are you, you are a nurse i see you you are not in a green uniform you are not in a white uniform but you are wearing an inner you are wearing an inner you 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 step out to go and talk to somebody and you came back there's a patient that you didn't call but the patient has come to sit and you ask the patient to go out and when you spoke go out you felt a sharp bang in your neck Ever since, your life has not been the same again. The Lord says, I should tell you, that guy, the person who entered and you sack, was a shrine that was sent to come and attack you. And because of your temper, they got you. I pray to God that whatever he has brought to us this morning, he will transform it into knowledge for us. May you have knowledge to sustain the messages of God this morning. That as you go through the day, you will not make natural mistakes to encounter wrong things. This morning, may the Lord sustain you and bring you power to overcome whatever it is. I am waiting for your testimonies. I am waiting for your testimonies. I am waiting for your testimonies. I mean, you open, somebody open an email. I mean, they, they sent you an email. You've not seen the email. And the email was supposed to do something for you. You just, you just chance on the email. Somebody just, you just saw the email. You saw the email now. After seeing the email, it's not give, making you happy. You are sad. The email has made you sad because you are supposed to do something about the email. And you are planning to call somebody and attack the person. You are waiting 8 o'clock so you can call the person. The Lord says, I should tell you, shut up and keep quiet. Let, come in and let me tell you the rest. The rest, we cannot talk talk about it. May the Lord bless you. May he add his spirit to his word. May whatever he has opened us for us to see today become the sustenance of what he has done. I see a woman crossing the street. It's not a big street. A normal, quiet street to take children to school. And all of a sudden, a car, this tricycle with pure water just lost and killed the three children and the woman is standing and screaming. All the three kids, he was try he's carrying three children to school and the three children are not all your children. There's only one that is yours. Yours is the small one and the injury was so bad that this somebody came and said, that's what I hear. But the law says I should tell you, if you are careful, it will not happen. But even if this thing will happen, we Give life to the children. May the Lord sustain them. 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 Somebody, you are joining a truck. Tr I mean, this is a normal commercial vehicle. And they asked you to go to the back. And you said, no, you like the middle seat. And you insisted on the middle seat. The Lord says, I should tell you, if you enter, they say, go back. Don't go. Insist on the middle seat. Because something will happen at the back seat. Somebody did something yesterday night at the back seat. They didn't know they were doing something to clear somebody so that you don't become a victim. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Now, this morning, our team for, our team for this month, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You are a nurse. You were asked. I see a nurse 
who is in a hospital and somebody died and they ask you to do what we call last office so you use the, the I, you use a gauze you tie a gauze and left a dot at the middle so you can clock the person and immediately you did that the person didn't did, you saw a change in the face of the person the law says if it is you we need to do something for you at the entrance of the hospital you work there is something somebody has sent something to you somebody has sent so you, you are watching me. your mother your mother just turned 70 your mother just turned 70 your mother just turned 70 in this year 2022 yeah you would think it's a general 70 but your, your own is that your mother turned 70 and before you were you wanted to celebrate something for your mother and in the celebration your, your, you and your siblings, there was no unity. And somebody made a statement. And that statement has affected you, but you didn't know they made a statement. The law says, I should tell you, he's reversing it. But there's something you need to do for your mother. You need to do the water for your mother too. You need to do the water for your mother. Somebody said, Even though all of you are happy your mother is alive, part of your people are not happy it's alive because your mother is... is I can't go further, but if you are the one, your mother turned 70, and when you were planning to celebrate your mother, it, some confusion came between you and your siblings. It, it didn't sound like confusion to you. It sounded like economy, economy issue. But somebody said, who are even who did this with you? And that statement has not helped you so much. May the Lord bless you and keep you. This morning, our team for the month of July, I see a pastor in Clerica who has just laid his hand on somebody. And when he laid his hand to pray for the person, the person lifted his head and watched the pastor's face. And from that day, the pastor have not been fine again. I, I don't know. I don't know. Katori Asangi Ataliberi Kayo Sikte Aman Takayaba Aku Tayabe Katayara Nandi Ananda Kabaya Pantolu Sikeri Ediale. I see dead bodies gathered with no head. I see dead bodies gathered with no head. And I see a bass that is half bent. Ashi, Ashi. A basket here, Ashi. And the people are lying down. Bebre, a TA new muti. So, and I'm asking God, what is it? Is there an accident? He said, people's head have been cut off. They are waiting to use natural means to justify the reason why they died. Makoti asende ateria. Banda katoli atende asatayaba. You are watching me right now. A friend of yours saw your hair. You went to church. Katalu sikete. You went to church, you went to church, and you were wearing a particular hair, and a friend of yours just came and said, hey, you think you were there, a, a different power, and he just held it like this, and he said, oh, so we, a, a, mean that, that. it's an old hair, you just told the person, he's an old, the person just transfer rashes onto you, you are going to fight rashes, and you think it's normal, I see rashes on your cheek like this, where the person held the hair, because you feel it's normal, a weba, a baneko, a baneko, a baneko, a baneko, it's not a menstruation, rash the person has been sent to come and destroy your face but they held your head that particular head they have held if you anywhere you are you want to we want to do something on the hair and we want to send it back to 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 the person and they will see, they did it in church you your own i'm talking about is in church it happened 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 in church you are watching me you you dried your napkins outside your house and unfortunately instead of you to remove the napkins and take them back inside you forgot it and you got up in the morning and went to hold it and said ah i forgot the dew has fallen on it and so you 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 left it again on the line when you touch it the dew has fallen somebody at dawn came to release something and you just catch it up i pray to god that as you do the water direction he will wash this thing of, of your hand. Watch it. This because of what just you just did. If you do the water on your day of birth, you and your your in-law will have a misunderstanding. Watch your in-law quietly. And it will be through a child, not your child, a child, whether the child visited or something, and it's going to set up confusion in between you and oh Jesus. Mm, mm. Jesus, 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 his name is Jesus, 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 his name is Jesus. 
Chala Yesu 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 A Chala Yesu Me wo Jesus Oti mi mo Oti mi mo Oti mi mo Da da me wo Jesus or Timmy Mo Atima Kume Muda Atima Kume Muda Atima Kume Muda. You saw me in your dream. I didn't mind you. You saw me in your dream. I didn't mind you. You are nice with me. But you dreamt about me. And I didn't mind you. And your heart started beating. You didn't know what. I guess bypass you. Yes. Yes. It is reverse. It's death. But we reverse it in the name of Jesus. You will be sustained. You, call me and let's let's deal with that that particular dream. Lord, we bless you. But it, the month we are in is is a month of July. The, the, I see this is dangerous. I I wanted to stop, but this one it came and let's let's all help to pray. I see I see a radio presenter who is strong, who we all love. Very, very, very articulate on radio. Died mysteriously. Died and everybody was shocked. Yes, 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 yes. He he's not he he's not working as a TV presenter, but he does he does you know he records show. You know, we are people who are TV and radio. He is not yes, yes, I see him. He he does even advert. He has an advert on TV. I see I see this radio presenter. He's, he's 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 a very loud person and um is but we pray to reverse it we pray that the lord will reverse will reverse it will reverse will reverse i be i see a big a big that the the station has never done it before but they they put a big uh picture of his face down down there um that the, the thing occurred because he released his passport to a friend who want to work on a visa for him. And they've been looking for him for a long time. They didn't get him. But because he sent his bio page to the person for an arrangement with his passport, that is what brought the presenter that particular attack. I pray that all of us, we seek, may the Lord secure our bio pages and our passport. I declare that whoever has given you an opportunity, this is this one I see one person, but the Lord says, pray for the rest who have released their passport. Pray. I even pray myself. I just realized that I gave my passport page out for somebody to do an arrangement for me. And unfortunately for me, my passport page is secure. I am I, I, I know what I can do. So I know what others can do. But I pray for you who just release your bas passport page to a wrong person. And not because you know the person is wrong, but the person is about to give you help. I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody, you are listening to me. A friend called you that he has sent you money in the bank. And when he sent you the code, he insisted you go early and go. Don't go now. Wait and let the thing delay. Once it's in your name, let it delay. What about it? Because he has, he has orchestrated a negative omen for you. That when you go and cash the money out in your excitement, a, a disgrace will come to you. I see... I, I see a pub, a mob action. I see a mob action, and you are standing in the middle. You are a lady, and like Obia, Obia, Ebum, Obia, to two are there born. Wako yi sikano ukita sikano ewo envelope. But if a friend send you money and he calls you unko yi, take your time. If it comes, call me before you go and withdraw that money. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I don't know why this morning we came to pray, and the Lord just opened. Hoping after just a sip of the water, he wants to continue what he started yesterday. But I am grateful. I am grateful for your coming. Share the page and invite a friend. I don't know how all of a sudden so I, I want to stop. And there's some heavy, heavy headache around here. I'm trying to 
figure out what it is. May the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord recalculate and take us to the place. We have just a few minutes to step out of the place. We we, we are supposed to step out of the place uh, exactly at seven o'clock because we started we started uh, 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 at at an hour behind. I I don't know, but may the Lord bless you for coming. May the Lord bless you for coming. Uh, remember that if yours is inside, when we close, get to me and let's do further clarification and further correction. May the Lord bless you. May, may the Lord bless you. I saw somebody, you, your friend, somebody, you, you, I, 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 a picture, and the picture is, is, is not on your DP now, but somebody sent you a request that, can I have this picture? Don't do, if you've not done it already, don't do, don't do. The person took a, a snapshot of the city. Charlie, this your picture is nice. Can I, can I have it? I want to show you, a lady, I want to show the dress to somebody. Don't do it. If you've done it already, call me because we need to reverse something. No, 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 no. It's bad. 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 This one is bad. And yet, my head is gone. So this is what was causing my headache. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your message this morning. People, we, I welcome you once again into the presence of the Most High God. Hey, can this thing close for me? Can this thing close? Oh, Jesus. Close, 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 close. Hallelujah. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. Something just happened to one of my sons right now. Something just happened to him. Father, I pray for this boy that he will not be disgraced. Keep him. Mm, 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 mm. Something just now, the thing just happened. Father, I pray and I, I declare that you sustain and keep him. 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 Mary, if you are watching me right now, Mary. Mary. Mary, if you are watching me right now, something just happened to my son. But Mary, I had a, I have a message for you now. Wherever you are right now, Mary, wherever you are now, now as I'm speaking right now, as I'm speaking, take a sachet of water right now. Tear it and hold it like this. Press it very hard until it gets finished. Just do, press it. Mary, just pick up a sachet, sachet water. Tear them up. You just leave the Facebook and go. Leave. If, if you are watching me now, Mary, just go and press it hard in your toilet. Just go and press it hard in your toilet. Press it very hard in your toilet. Just press it in your toilet right now, Mary. Do it now. 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 Just do it. When you are done, the sachet rubber, tight in. Find another rubber to tie the sachet rubber. Whatever happened, just keep it. Just tie it in a certain rubber. And when we finish coming, I'll tell you what to do. When you pour it in the toilet, don't flash it. Don't. So our month of July is when God has brought us a message yesterday in the morning. He says, Sanctia, my people, is the month of divine sustenance. Divine sustenance. The Lord has decided to sustain us. I thought you say an amen. Because the times we are in, it is not the right time. The times we find ourselves is time that disgrace and shame has been declared over our life. But I came to tell you that your month of July shall be a sustainable month because the Lord is in charge of your month. The reason I'm saying this is, is because... When the Lord gave me the message at that later time, I had, we, we entered into July and I've been waiting and speaking and nothing is coming. I wrote my own one. I said, ah, this could be because of this. Then the Lord says no. And he was not telling me the new one until yesterday in the morning at dawn. 
when I was on my way to church, the Lord gave me the message. And I was like, my month of sustenance. We want to declare that once it's his word. I tell people, what do you lose if, if, if what you are asked to do, you do it and it didn't happen? That called Sunday, Kateri, Andere, Andere, Eti, Atana. Sunday and day and the abatoli a take a Sunday attack a ike se tere atila tayaba katere de ikiri and the and there are habi otolo sikere anda kate katea tabanda ataliate ali atere lek and dere atikiri adan son watch it here let's 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 do it after let's do it after let's do it after something something don't let anybody destroy you because you use them as a reference in your recommendation. Somebody you use as reference in your in your CV has been called and have destroyed you to the people who is supposed to employ you. You use somebody as a reference. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let, let's focus, focus, focus. Reverend Luther, focus. So in the month of July, the Lord says it's my month of divine sustenance. And when we talk about the word sustenance, sustenance, biblically, he did it several times for people. He has sustained a lot of people. A lot of people have been sustained by God. A lot of people have taken that particular God's sustenance. He has made provision for your sustenance. You are going to walk through the month of July, no matter the price hike, no matter the inconveniences, no matter the hardship, no matter the shame and the disgrace. Something is going to happen. Now, somebody is watching me this morning. You are going to have a general meeting. I see a meeting of a lot of people. Like, it's a workers meeting. I don't know. It's a workers meeting in, in, in a place. What I see, you see, I see the light case. Four, 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 fluorescent light as part of the decoration. But they have changed some with round, 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 round light. And that's the gathering I see. I see glass. I see glass and I see some, some blinds in the meeting grounds. You are going to be called. Somebody will mention your name. And immediately your name is mentioned. You become very, very angry. And your voice will be shaken to answer. When they call you, control yourself. Because it is a trap that somebody has set for you. They planned yesterday in the afternoon that when they come for the meeting, they will offend you to speak so that they will get your voice to go and do something against you in the company. Be careful, be careful because you are speaking to somebody that you don't like to work here again. You are just waiting for something small and you will leave them and you'll be in a better place. And when you said it, you didn't say it without a bad motive, but somebody has gone to have a conversation with what you said and you are being kept in the wrong books and the wrong when i when i saw a wrong recommendation then your message just came today this morning so when you go for a morning meeting today be careful when you are mentioned or somebody taps you whatever anybody say be careful you are talking too much the law says i should tell you you are talking too much you are a woman you are talking too much so your words are everywhere yes god has given you some unique thing you are intelligent you are beautiful you are presentable but he says i should tell you you are talking too much. Yeah, everything you do, anybody knows. Everybody knows. You are not supposed to let them know what you are doing, but now everybody knows in the place that you are working. And that is why somebody has going to say something wrong. Be careful. I don't know what is it. Whether it's business, whether it's education, whether it's a travel plan. The Lord has not told me, but he says somebody you be calling a meeting, don't disgrace yourself. Sustenance. The month of divine sustenance. We have natural forms of sustenance. When it comes to NATMO, National Disaster Management, the, the, the management people, their own is that they come to manage conditions of people temporarily with physical things. When there is flood, when there is any condition that the people will need governmental help, when there is disaster in the area, they come to give them some temporal net. They come to give them some food that is not their regular food. They come to give them meals that they can eat to sustain themselves. And that is what I'm saying, that those are temporal ones. But the Lord came to tell me, to tell you who is watching me this morning, that he has come to sustain you divinely. 
Matuke Saltayara. He has come to give you a divine sustenance. Your sustenance is not natural sustenance. Your sustenance is not like the two by four sustenance of the people. But the Lord is bringing you the level of sustenance that will keep you going and nothing can stop it. But every time the Lord wants to make a provision, the devil will come down to do his own thing. Hallelujah. He says, at night, whilst men slept, whilst men slept, the evil one came to sow dirty or evil seed among them. Whilst men slept, sleeping is inevitable. It is allowed. But for somebody to come and sow wrong things whilst you have slept, everything will go negative in your way. This morning, you want to come with me and say, may he sustain me, sustain my work, sustain whatever. It's because you see, the divine sustenance is talking about, he says, I am going to give them sustenance that is divine, not physical. A lot of magic is going to happen in a lot of people. They'll call it magic because they won't understand how it came through. Hallelujah. But the Lord says sustenance. And if you check the word sustenance carefully, if you want the definition of sustenance, why I am saying that he says he's going to do it but in a divine way. The word sustenance, he says that sustenance is maintaining someone or something in life or in existence so what is sustenance is is the ability to keep something away from dying hallelujah sustenance is the ability to keep something or someone or something from dying from leaving the existence as we speak anybody who doesn't want to see you exist anybody who doesn't want to hear that you are still alive anybody who doesn't still want to hear that you are still doing that same good thing that you are doing that person is an evil against your sustenance you don't want to let them live bible says suffer not the witch to live there are people who are doing things so you will not live. Anything that is meant to take away your life. And I won't stop reminding you of the life of Abel. I won't stop reminding you that Abel didn't do anything wrong. So stop thinking about wrong things you are doing. This is why you think you are being exposed. No, 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 no. Your good things you are doing is also able to expose you into the negative arena of evil people. Hallelujah. You don't need to do anything. Sleeping is allowed. A small sleep, a small slumber, then poverty comes. So all of us will sleep. I don't force anybody to stay awake like me. I know there are times that I look at, I look at my wife and she's, she's like, she wish she would say something. But she knows what I'm doing is not, it's not for me. And if what I'm doing is me, eh, but this time I've broken down a long time. But I'm doing for him. The itinerary is nasty. But he called me for it and he'll sustain me for it. Hallelujah. There are things that once something is blocking you not to sustain life, once something has come to cross you so you don't see the next day, don't smile over it. The Lord says, I am bringing you divine sustenance. But there are things that will block your divine sustenance. Hallelujah. There are things that will block it. Your existence is very important. They know that when you get that breakthrough, your life will change. They know that when you get that particular contract, new things will happen. So they are causing you not to be sustainable to wait for it. But I came to tell you as a servant of God, whatever you have that must come to pass because you are, whatever you have asked God to do for you whatever you have spoken to God to, to do for you in the month of completion the Lord shall complete it it shall go to become a divine cessation it shall be garnished well for you whoever says he will never allow you to enjoy whatever you have done whoever says he's here to counter cross you whoever says he's speaking evil about you that your promotion will 
delay that whatever is meant for you will never come to you. I came to you as an oracle of God. I came to you this morning with a man carrying power from God that they will be disgraced at the same place where they want to disgrace you. They will do an action that their action will sound like disgrace. Bible says that and when it came to the life of, 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 of Haman, that Haman came and he went straight in the life of the Queen Esther and was telling King Esther, please, can you please talk to the king on my behalf? The king came and saw rather that what he was doing in terms of kneeling down to beg, the king saw his head rather on the tie of caressing Esther and it made the king more angry and killed him. I came to tell somebody here, an action that has been tolerated by people who have been doing things against you, an action that has become a normal action, a telephone call that they go and once they see their call, they know they are bringing information. Because of you, in this month of sustenance, their phone call shall become a medium of exposure to them. The man will tell, I am tired of this thing you do. Don't you have anything to call me and tell me than to talk about your tutor, than to talk about Esther, than to talk about Santua, than to talk about Akosia, than to talk about Mary, than to talk about Akosia. Don't you have any other thing better than this one? What has our word done to you? That every time you pick a phone, you are here to talk about our word. Our has never discussed you before. What have you done? What at all has Mary done to you? What is it? Are you happy with what she's going through? Why will you always pick a phone and it's just about mommy or him? Why are you just picking a phone to talk about what Kenneth has done? When will you bring me something else beyond what you are talking about, Adua? When will you bring me something else beyond what you are talking about, Kofi? When will you bring me something else beyond what you are talking about, Francis? When will you bring me something else? When will you bring me something else? When will the Lord says, I should tell you that this week, those who have plotted and planned against you, he is about to sustain you and to disgrace them. Ah, I don't know who I just spoke to. I shot a missile and whoever is ready to release and receive it, the Lord said it is yours. They will get that to speak about you. Bible says, but only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Any evil thing they have done against you, any evil thing they have said against you, and they have mentioned your name and your name has become a common name before, and they have said, this is what you are offending. Whatever they have said that you said, you didn't say it in an evil way, but they are capitalizing on it because you said it, and it is about to disgrace you. I came to tell you, wherever they mention your name negatively, it shall backfire. It shall backfire. It shall backfire. It shall backfire. Whatever system they are recording your name, we scatter. We scatter. We scatter. We scatter. The Lord will sustain you. Mm. He will sustain you. <laughs>